We begin this morning with a tense situation in Songju County, Gyeongsangbuk-do Province. Local residents there and activists are furious over the government's decision to greenlight the temporary deployment of four remaining THAAD missile defense launchers in the area. They attempted to block the roads overnight, and things got ugly this morning as police stepped in to disperse them before the launchers rolled in. Kim Hyun-bin reports. Soon after the four additional THAAD launchers left Osan Air Base bound for Songju in the wee hours of Thursday morning, hundreds of protesters clashed with police who tried to clear the way for the deployment. Scuffles occurred as police attempted to break up a gathering of some 400 local residents and activists at a community center near the U.S. base in Songju County, where the THAAD battery is stationed. After four hours, the protesters dispersed, but dozens of residents and police were hurt during the process. Local residents opposed the THAAD deployment, claiming the battery could make the village a military target. They also said electromagnetic waves from THAAD's X-band radar could cause health and environmental problems. The deployment comes as South Korea's Defense Ministry announced on Wednesday that the U.S. military would install four additional THAAD launchers on Thursday. The ministry says Seoul and Washington decided to speed up the deployment in view of North Korea's provocations in recent weeks, including two ICBM launches and a sixth nuclear test. Once the additional launchers are installed, U.S. Forces Korea will have a fully operational THAAD battery in place at its base in Songju. A THAAD battery consists of six launchers, a fire control and communications unit, and an X-band radar. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.